Hi guys. So in continuation to the last session, um, the first thing which we need to do is we have to create an admin user because Keyclock does not come with a default admin user, which means before you can start using Keyclock, you need to create an admin user. And to do that, I will show you uh, where you have to go and then eventually i will go to the point where i said the port needs to be changed in the last session okay so let's first see how to create the admin user so what you have to do is uh, we have already started the server in the last section what we have done is we went here uh, to the bin folder and then we have run this command standalone.bat and standalone.bat has resulted in starting the server the server is running and now we will just open it okay so what you need to do is you need to go to localhost as i said you it by default it will run in localhost 8080 and then slash you need to write auth the moment you enter this it will come to a this screen okay this is the key clock screen and in this screen, you will get the administrative console, the documentation, some key clock project, mailing list and some issue reporting. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to click on the admin console. Now what this one is asking, you have to do exactly how you will be going inside the key clock server. Okay. Right. So one thing I need to mention here, because I have created the admin user in the first place before I am showing this demo to you guys. So that's why I'm not getting the first screen, which you may get if you are trying this for the first time. So what will you get? You will get something like this, uh, where after opening this server in localhost 8080, you will be prompted with this a welcome page where you have to create the initial admin to get started okay so you may get this and you need to click on the create button in the first place okay don't forget this one and remember whatever username you will be putting here you have to remember that okay so i'm just showing that uh, while i was creating i have taken a print but for my case that main name is administrator what i have put you can put according to your choose chosen name okay so once you create that then you will be prompted with this screen the moment you again hit this localhost 8080 port it will be asking you okay now you can put whatever you have created in this previous step where you are creating the initial admin user now I have created it as administrator and I will put my password and I will sign in. The moment I sign in, it will go inside the uh, realm. Now question is, what is a realm? It is a manage set of users i mean basically when you are dealing with this kind of operations the first thing you need to build through this kind of key clock is you have to create a lot of users right that is what i mean users authentication or the authorizations all these process are related to a group of user or a user right so you will be dealing with first you will be uh, having some users and for those users you will be creating a process of authentication authorizations there will be credentials there will be roles there will be user role mapping composite role uh, groups and all those right so just for now what you can remember is a realm manages a set of users credentials roles and groups and what is an user a user belong to and logs into a particular realm okay realms what is realm realms manages the set of users that is the first thing to remember and realms are isolated from one another and can only manage and authenticate the user 
that they control so if you are creating a demo realm uh, inside the master realm in in um, reality whenever you are loading the key clock server there will be a master realm which will be created in the first place then what you need to do is you need to click on add realm say for example for you to understand the whole concept i will be clicking on the add realm part okay and i will show you how to create the realm inside it okay if that is clear let us move to the next step so let us now move and create our own realm and an user okay a particular user we will be so what you will do the first use of key clock admin console is to create the realm in general so here we can see master realm which is by default provided by the key clock server now we want to create one more realm so for example we will be actually working with demo realm in this particular uh, section but for you to understand let me create a realm so you will be clicking on add realm the moment you click on that add realm you will be asked to name that realm okay so you have to uh, name anything i mean it, it's depend upon what you want to give for that realm name and then associated users and the applications related you can give a, a particular uh, good name for us in this case it will be a demo user or a demo realm or something like that but for you if you are working in a real project you can choose the name accordingly now uh, but remember this realm is again associated with your master realm so the realm master realm was created by key clock uh, and it contains the admin account already okay so in the first login when we were creating the admin realm admin this was getting added to the master realm okay so you use this realm only to create other realm so in our case the master realm is getting used to create demo realm or demo or whatever you are giving name so let us uh, put some realm and uh, uh, show you how to create that so let us name it as demo again because i have already created i'm just keeping this as demo again so that uh, you 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 can actually uh, create a demo realm instead of demo again but just to show you if i create this the realm will be immediately created okay so the demo again has been created for me and from the master menu click uh, sorry uh, what you need to do is after the demo realm is created you need to create the user so from here you need to come back to the user section so in we are in the demo again realm and you have seen the demo uh, realm setting uh, where it is talking about the open endpoint configuration this is all we will be talking about and then saml identity provider metadata so the endpoint configuration and all those things we will see later these are the login keys email themes localization client registration policy security defense a lot of things are there okay so let us not get confused at this point in time and create our user under the demo again so how will you create an user it's again a simple process you just click on that add user and then you put a username say for example i am putting rishik so rishik is the name uh, of the uh, user who will be added to the demo again realm okay and then you can just make sure uh, that the email verified is on you can uh, on it i mean depending upon your choice you can make it switched on or switched off okay at the moment we don't have a group so we are not going to put anything and we will save this so what happened the user has been created and when you click and if you want to see the users rishik has been created under the demo again so let us go back to the demo we in our uh, tutorial what we will be doing we will be using the demo realm so you know now how to create a realm and how to create a user under the realm so you you are having so you can put another hundred user under this but all the 
users will get added to the demo realm so that is what in our case it is demo and i was showing you the demo again so don't get confused with this i was just trying to show you that how to create that okay so don't get confused and now after creating this user you can uh, go to the credential tab of that user user you click on this go to the credentials and put the credentials the password here you need to type the password okay so type it and you need to remember that password okay so next time when this user will log in these credentials will be getting used so don't forget that so i will also put a password for this user you can put of your own choice okay once this is done you can give a label so the label i am just giving shantanu for the moment and that's it okay and then save it once this is saved the credentials has been created under the demo realm and your user is already there so you are good with it i hope you understand this now what you need to do is you need to do uh, log in to the account console how can you log into the account console you have just now created the user right so you need to log out of the server get logged out and now i want to get inside the user um, account you have seen that it was an administrative login now out of the administrative i mean we have signed out of the administrative system now we want to log in as shantanu right so shantanu is a username and password is what i have given there and i will try to sign in so i am doing a mistake here what is the mistake the mistake is i am still into the auth realms i am not in the demo realms right so what you need to do is open another browser and type localhost auth and then write demo um what was our realm oh, sorry i have to first give the realm name demo slash account and then give an enter so what will happen realm spelling is wrong that's why so what you have to do is you will be asked to sign in so you click on that now see the difference it is in auth realms and here what we are doing is we have given auth realms demo and then uh, we have written account and this has redirected after that to here last time i was giving shantanu and i was giving my password it was not giving me to log in because we were in the root i mean we were in the administrative uh, section here we are in the account section so now let me put shantanu and i will put my password so once i sign in i am inside the user account and here you can just give your uh, whatever you want i have given my username and password i mean for the user depending upon for whom you are creating that okay and then uh, you can uh, save it and come out of this okay for now if you are updating that is what it is showing your account console and all those other things okay now so now we have to create we have created the realms we have created the user so the next step to make other things running i mean according to the objective of this particular section we need to make sure that we have a sample application for which we will be creating this authentication mechanism so the authentication mechanism is handled by key clock but we need an application the application 
itself needs a server right in our case we have an application server as a wildfly so we need to download wildfly and then we need to have the sample application which is which is being deployed into the wildfly server and then we will be securing that application of wildfly server along with the key clock server so we we have some certain steps we will go and discuss that in the next section okay